Okay, so not having it with a vlog that I'm going to put on top of this gameplay that I'm doing right now. Free for all on Resistance. You see, I got the Game Caviar t-shirts. They're on sale. I got mine and a couple other people got theirs. And that's going great. Um, I didn't put up a couple videos the past couple days because I haven't been feeling well. I got the flu shot that made me sick. Uh, so what I'm going to be using is the PP90M1. And I'm going to go try to kill a lot of people. Let's see what we got here. Uh, tonight, Modern Warfare 3, uh, December 12th, they're going to do a hot fix, which is going to nerf the FMG9s and the Type 95 and all those guns that people love to use. I love the uh, Akimbo FMG9s, but I'm not really a big fan of the uh, Type 95. I, I don't know. This shit's all right. You know, before they nerf it, if... Uh, well, um, I don't know if they nerfed it or not, but like, um, after they, I know right now, if you put steady aim on with the Type 95, you can, um, hit fire that song based like a damn shotgun. I've done it and it works perfectly. Well, it probably won't work like that anymore because it, motherfucker, because they're going to nerf it. But, um, um, I just got killed by a camper. What a surprise. But, uh, but yeah. Okay. Anyway, uh, be on the lookout for that. They're going to do some more stuff. Uh, apparently, it was some uh, some camping level punk ass spot and dome that they're going to patch, supposedly. Um, I, I, I didn't see anything about fucking lag compensation or, you know, them talking about they're going to get rid of it altogether, like fucking bosses, but instead they won't be bitches and keep it in the game. So. You know, whatever. Let them do what they want to do. It's fucking Infinity War. What do you expect? Uh, this week coming up, I'm going to have some more GoldenEye uh, uh, 007 Reloaded because I love playing that game. It's pretty awesome. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I want to talk about the VGAs, Video Game Awards. It came on Saturday. Uh, finally got to see the whole, not the whole story, but um, the, uh, the PlayStation exclusive. Um, the Last of Us, made by Naughty Dog, the makers of uh, Uncharted and Crash Bandicoot, for all of you who remember that game. Um, it's, it looks amazing. At first, it looked like a, uh, it had something to do with Enslaved, the game that came out. Uh, oh, shit. The game that came out uh, last year. And, um, son, I don't even see why you did that shit. The game that came out uh, last year, where it was you, and you had a, it was a two-person system, and, um... What's the name? The Last of Us is kind of sort of like that. And the reason that it's kind of sort of like that is because one of the people who actually worked on Enslaved is working on The Last of Us. So, now you can... Knife! Why did you not knife? Are you serious? Anyway, one of the people who worked on... Uh, who worked on that game is actually working on The Last of Us. So it may have something to do with, uh, the, the two games may have something to do with each other, and it might be uh, explained in the game, or it might just be a, a coincidence, because like I said, one of the people who was working on The Last of Us actually worked on Enslaved. If you haven't played Enslaved, it's a really good game. It's, um, ironically, it's similar to Uncharted, but um, it's, um, oh my God, are you kidding me? Look at this! I just got killed by our own care package. Anyway, if you haven't played Enslaved, um, check it out. It's a really good game with really fun um, premise. Uh, I I was disappointed that they weren't going to make a sequel to it, but knowing that I have um, The Last of Us to look forward to makes it even better. Um, I'm kind of sort of getting my ass kicked on this this particular match. These free for all games, they don't really work out that well on these bigger maps. They're more for a smaller map. Uh, you will not take time on my calm, random free for all player. Uh, but yeah, uh, the nerf is a big thing right now. Um, and the. Uh, what else, what else, what else, what else? Video Game Awards. Of course, they said uh, Call of Duty was the better shooter besides um, over uh, Battlefield, which I don't fucking understand, but okay. 
But uh, but yeah, I almost got killed right there. I'm glad that guy didn't see me using my laptop. It's actually it'd be better if he had seen me because now I fucking killed him. Um, yeah, Call of Duty got a shooter over the year over Battlefield. I just got fucked in the butt in this game as usual. Um, I don't agree with that. Call of Duty in general is a very good game. It's very fun to play. But as far as fundamentals and the way the game is put together, Battlefield is a much better game. Um, if Battlefield had the same fun factor that Call of Duty had and everything else stayed the same, that game would be absolutely positively the best shooter on the market today. Better than Call of Duty, better than Homefront, better than a lot of these games that are available that have, camp that have come out in the next couple years. Uh, and this year and... Uh, Oh my fucking goodness. This year and uh, last year, uh, Battlefield is a really good game. And they're almost, EA almost has it to where, well, EA and DICE, they almost have it to where it can overtake Call of Duty, but it just needs that fun factor. That's what Call of Duty is, um, is really staking its fame on, is the fun factor. Because it's not really that innovative, you know. Um, I guess it really, it, it innovated online gaming, but as far as the game itself, I mean, it doesn't really, it's not really realistic at all, so I really can't say that. It's, all it has is, it's fun. It's not very graphically amazing. Um, it, the sound isn't as great as Battlefield or Medal of Honor, so it has that fun factor, and that's really what makes it the better uh, shooter out of anything available. Now, um, a lot of people... Uh, a lot of people slept on home uh, home front and that was a really fun game online it kind of rem reminded me of the first uh, modern warfare you know call of duty 4 but um but it didn't um it, a lot of people overlooked it like I said it didn't really oh oh you tried to shoot me with a fucking predator missile but this damn tree saved me yeah it's Arbor Day in this month oh son of a bitch I just wasted my predator missile Oh, 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 but I didn't waste those bullets. Oh. Uh, but yeah, a lot of people overlooked it. And um, I, I I enjoyed the hell out of that game. I'm actually, I'm really glad that I had the chance to play it. Because um, I just kind of saw a helicopter. Hell yeah. Call it in! I, I actually had a, uh, actually, I'm really happy that I had a chance to play it. You know, um, but um, I really need to do another video of it. I just haven't done it yet, you know. But uh, I really, uh, Battlefield is almost there. There isn't many other games out there that have that fun factor. Um, really, it should be a three-horse race. It should be, um, this match is over. It should be uh, Call of Duty, Battlefield, and Homefront. I came in second, uh, 16 to 12. Anyway, I'm going to put this up. I'm going to render it. I'm going to put my vlog over top of this so everybody can see everything. Um, so it's not looking so butt bootlegged. Um, buy a t-shirt. Like, comment, subscribe. Spread the word. Uh, I will put up some more videos this week. And um, um, look at me. I look like a James Bond villain. Bond, your plans have been foiled. <laughs> I require $1 billion to be electronically... Delivered to my account by this afternoon or the world will end You always wonder how villains want to end the world like you live in the world dumb shit. You're gonna kill yourself anyway uh, Like comment subscribe spread the word buy t-shirt um, All the support I've been getting I'm really appreciative of it. I appreciate it. Um, I appreciate all of it uh, It's been appreciated But anyway, uh, I will see you. I will see you guys later on this week. I'm gonna post another video um, I'm always going to post another video. I'll talk more about the VGAs and The Last of Us and the PlayStation Vita. Oh, if you want to import a PlayStation Vita, you can get one from PlayAsia.com, but it will cost you at least $540. So I, when I saw that, I immediately was like, <laughs> yeah, well, you know what I was like. But anyway, um, I'm not having it, and I'm out.